Hey everybody, welcome to a blast from the past. Yeah. Robbie Byram joins us here in the parking lot at uh, our offices in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Robbie, good seeing you, man. Good to see you, John. You are out of retirement, though. You've been fishing a lot more. I've been fishing, yeah. It's been fun. Bill and I were just having a blast. Well, we've caught Robbie at a few of the CBC tournaments, and uh, he was down today on Watery, whacking them. You know, we were talking about Watery this morning. Uh, the CBC down there, I think the winning weight was 33, 34 pounds. 34 and a half. 34 and a half. What in the world is going on at Watery? I don't know. I just left there, and I had a blast today. And I'd recommend anybody watching this, if you want to catch fish, go to Watery right now. Fish aren't right up on the bank. They're about four or five feet off the bank in three to seven foot of water. They're, there's monsters. Every fish I caught today was a good fish. I had three fives, and it was just fun. That's awesome. Well, uh, you were saying the water temp down there is a little bit chilly, though. Yeah, it was 58 degrees this morning when I got there, and it stayed 58. But, you know, we got this big rain, and thank goodness we're getting all this rain and flushing the lakes. But, but you know, it, it gets up a little bit, maybe 61, 62. Then we have a hard rain, and it gets back to 58, 59. And it, that's what's going on at High Rock. It's just cold as a dick. And, but uh, it's, it, it's just, a, just nice. I don't know. Well, it's good because everywhere and everybody that we're talking to, fishing so far this year has been fantastic. Now, yep. we were talking back in January, you know, the winter, what kind of adverse effects would this winter have on all these lakes? Let me tell you, uh, we need to remember this because yep. all it's done is uh, make, make the fishing literally twice as good. Yeah, it really has, and hopefully it'll take care of our bugs and mosquitoes and all that too. And well, that, that, That's an old wives tale. It never works uh, well, because mid nice. by, by the time end of May gets here, we're going to go to the lake and we're going to be swarmed, swarmed with, with, with mosquitoes. Mosquitoes again, yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Uh, well, come back in here a little bit for us and tell us about High Rock this weekend. Uh, the CBC's headed up there. High Rock, uh, we were talking about earlier as well. Folks, the lake level at High Rock, you got to watch carefully because it was high a week ago. We just got two inches of rain. If you can't get under those bridges up there, there's a problem. Yeah, it really does. It kind of makes, well, it, you know, some of the guys are, inventive enough they'll get under the bridge i mean they'll turn the boat around fill it up with water and then pump it out you know that's pretty extreme uh bill and i were up on sunday this past sunday and we fished hard we caught a lot of we caught a lot of fish but they were all 9 10 11 12 inch fish we caught two keepers in the bunch water's cold and we got this rain that we just had and that's all this week. You know, it's off limits Sunday Sunday night till the tournament morning on Saturday morning, which is a great thing. I like that. It makes makes it a little bit more even for everybody because I would have been up there today instead of going to water in. I caught monsters down there, and I'd probably gone up there and might have gotten hurt. <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be – I think it's going to be pretty equal for everyone up there this week. Um, you know, last year we fished this tournament up there. And the guys, when, when, when we got there, it was like a foot and a half over full pond. And then they dropped water all day. The fish moved out to the floats. And the guy that won it said, all I did was just burn a spinnerbait by the floats and said they'd come out and charge and get it. And, you know, that's, I learned a lot. I, here we are inside the floats. He's catching them on the floats. So I don't know exactly. I would say the water up there, 58 degrees Sunday. This coming week, it may be 57. Heck, it could be cold. Well, I tell you what, we're going to be uh, playing close, close attention. You know, Robbie pulled up today, folks. Normally, you see Robbie in a in a decked out bass boat, usually a Ranger. He's in a in an express camouflage, camouflage with a seventy horsepower four stroke Yamaha. He's bragging. He burned eleven gallons of gas today. No, eleven dollars worth of $11 gas. Eleven dollars worth. I was all over the watery, and you know, my my Ford my Ford truck. Doesn't know it's behind me. I can go. I can hook up. When I get home, I can hand roll it. I'm just just hand roll it in the garage where I, I did struggle, you know, for a while. And that, now that Rangers making aluminum boats, it's like you know, I think it's the way we're gonna have to go, guys, without a doubt. Because this little boat, it did a great job today. Caught some nice big fish, and I didn't have a pro I didn't have a problem at all. I went last last week. I fished old farts, and heck, wind was blowing out, blowing hard down Davison Creek, and didn't have a problem running down it, and that was the most gas I burned in this little boat so far. But you know, it runs about 37 miles an hour, and you know, wide open. Heck, I don't ever push about 30, so you know, no hurry. Well, I tell you what, man, it's great to get you back in the in the loop a little bit. You know, Robbie, 
on Byron General Store for all those years. And uh, it's nice to see him. He always talked about getting out of retirement. He really is out of retirement. He's fishing a lot right now. Yeah. So uh, we're going to keep talking to you. You know, there was a good BFL on Wiley this past weekend. Uh, Rob Dye, our pro staffer, came in fourth, cut a nice check for almost $1,300. But Wiley's fishing tough. Wiley is not watery no. or some of these other lakes. It's, it's, it's fishing pretty tough right and now. And it, it'll turn on, you know, just give it a little bit more time. But, uh, you know, getting back to water, it's just amazing. I just, I just had fun today. I caught three big fish and three casts probably 10 minutes after I got, out, got in the boat. Well, man, best of luck to you this weekend, the rest of the uh, the rest of the spring with all the tournaments going on. You know, one last thing, and we talked about it before you, you know, sold the store. Team trails were coming on three years ago. They've never been hotter than they are now. Oh, I know it. Everybody's doing it, and and you, you know, it just makes sense. Golly, two people splitting expenses, and and, and it just it just works. All right, well, buddy, good seeing you, folks. Uh, wherever you're going this weekend, be safe on the water, and we'll see you next week.